Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. To the content is channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Listen, uh, we are here with another Ravens versus Saints game status. Uh, usually these game status happen on Friday, but since the Ravens are playing on Monday, everything got pushed back this week, a day. So here we are on Saturday with this game status, all right? So who's playing, who's not? Let's get right into it, all right? On the Ravens side, out. Uh, is Rashad Bateman, and obviously no surprise there. We know that he's having season-ended surgery. So, doubtful, Mark Andrews, Gus Edwards, questionable, Malik Harrison. Apparently, he popped up on the injury report on, uh, I think, today as limited. So, we'll see if he can go. Marcus Peters uh, was a full participant in practice today. So, I would assume he's ready to go for, um, for Monday. Uh, Demarcus Robinson did not practice today. He kind of popped up on the injury report, they like said, yesterday as limited. So already injured Ravens receiving core might have another wide receiver down. Now, players with no injury designation at all. Ty's Bowser, Josh Bynes, Marlon Humphrey, David Ojabo, uh, Jason Pierre-Paul, Ronnie Stanley. So a lot of good names here, right? Ty's Bowser, we expect to see him playing. Josh Bynes, we expect to see him playing. Um, Marlon Humphrey, we know how much he means. Ojabo is the only guy on this list where it's like, I still really don't expect to see David Ojabo this soon, this early, um, as far as Monday. Now, could he play? Sure. I, I mean, you know, it'd be great to see him out there, but I'm not expecting it. Jason Pierre-Paul pretty much doesn't practice all week, which is fine. He's been playing well in the game. So if that's been the routine, keep the routine. Don't switch it up. And Ronnie Stanley's been getting rest days, uh, I think a couple days out of the week. He might practice one or two days, and then he's resting the rest of the week. And Ronnie's been really, really good this year so far. So no problem there, right? Now let's switch it to the opposite side. Let's go to Saints. Saints got some big news. Marshawn Lattimore, they're all pro. Their Pro Bowl corner is out. All right, that's big news for the Ravens. That's big news for the Saints. Uh, Mark Ingram, out. Questionable Jarvis Landry. The Saints head coach, Dennis Allen, said Jarvis Landry is improving every day. And it's looking like he has a chance to play on uh monday that's why he's ruled as questionable so we probably will see some jarvis landry on monday all right now guys with no injury designation on the saints that uh a notable name uh ryan ramchek eric mccoy two of their offensive linemen so two important guys that they're going to need to protect which i would assume is probably still andy dalton i don't know if james is back as of right now um and defensive tackle david uh amyamata so uh you know guy that plays for them as well so uh, the Saints have a couple guys that are very important coming back, but they're also missing two key players. Now, obviously, Mark Ingram isn't the starter, but you know how to, they have to rotate him and Kamara. The Ravens will probably get a lot of Alvin Kamara on uh, Monday night, which we should be no surprise. He's one of the top running backs in the league, all right? Now, as far as Marshall Lanamore goes, like I said, that's a big blow for the Saints, and that's probably some of the best news the Ravens could have had. You know, you never want anybody to be injured or nothing like that. But, you know, the Ravens receiving core obviously is a is is down at the moment. And uh, so having one of these top corners out is, you know, that's that's an advantage for the Ravens. You know, we got to talk about it honestly. Um, as far as the Ravens go, it's going to be very, very interesting. So pretty much that offense that we saw second half versus uh, the Buccaneers is what we're going to get for this game. Uh, if Mark Andrews is really, truly doubtful and not going to play, which looks like that's the case, Isaiah likely stepping back up again. Demarcus Robinson is the one that's really interesting because this kind of popped up out of nowhere. I think they said it's like a groin injury or something like that. We'll see if he can, you know, rest up today, rest up tomorrow, and give it a go on Monday. We'll see. But um, if he's out, you know, we're going to have to see a lot of Deshaun Jackson probably, okay? And uh, I'm not sure that the Ravens want to do that right off the bat, but they're, gonna, they're not going to have a choice. Now, as far as the guys that have no injury designation, I'm excited to see Ty's Bowser back. That's a big, big improvement for the Ravens. That's a big, important player for the Ravens. So it's great to see him uh, with no injury designation. Marlon Humphrey as well. Marlon Humphrey has been playing amazing this year. I think I saw a stat from PFF that Marlon Humphrey has about 300 snaps in coverage with no touchdowns given up. So really, really good right there. Uh, Jason Pierre-Paul is going to be out here. Uh, Ronnie Stanley. So... Ravens have a lot of good players. You know what? Have a lot of good players that are going to be out there playing. All right. So, uh, for this game on uh, Monday, the, the guys are going to be out there ready to go. All right. Uh, so, we're going to keep this short and sweet, man. That's the Ravens versus Saints game status. I'm not going to drag it out too long uh, just because it is the weekend. We're trying to get back to it. I'm watching this uh, Tennessee versus Georgia game, see what's going on with that. But the Ravens had some good players playing, coming back. 
wide receiving core might have taken another blow. We'll see if that's really truly the case. And also, you know, the Saints are missing a big, important player, Marshawn Lattimore. And uh, hopefully the Ravens can take advantage of that. Uh, we'll do the game preview for you guys. Uh, hopefully that'll come out tomorrow. Uh, get the guys together and talk about it. So uh, with this news, hey, it's, this news is advantage Ravens right now, you know, and they got to, they got to take advantage of it. The back half of their schedule, they should win a lot of these games, and it starts with Monday Night versus Saints, all right? So that's the Ravens versus Saints game status, man. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. It's your boy Gabriel, just on the fan TV. I'm out.